Hey, hi, hello, welcome back. So I recently moved and what I decided was that I was going to have a red bookshelf and an unread bookshelf. So all of the books on the bookshelf behind me I have completed and then I have another bookshelf across the room of books that I have yet to read. I've never had like a TBR shelf before but I was looking when I was moving all of my books I always kind of have a, a crisis about do I really want to own all these books and then I realized that I there are a lot of books on my shelf that I haven't read yet. I don't know how many I'll probably put totals somewhere on the screen at the end but I'm just gonna go through my own TBR and I think there's a, been a couple people that I've seen that have done this where a year from now where they make a video like this they go back and see how many books they actually have read. Now I've read, I've done this video before a few years ago for Vita I think but it's been a while I don't really feel like reacting to it because that was more of I did more of a like an artsy style where I just showed the books in this video I will hold up the books tell you the author and then the genre whether it's like YA fantasy or adult fantasy or adult fiction why contemporary you get the gist I'm not gonna go too in depth into the descriptions of the books because there's unfortunately too many so I'm gonna start with the books that I am currently reading or have at least started attempted to read at some point these are the books that I actually keep next to my bed so we have Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the third book in a YA sci-fi series. Then I have The Fork, The Witch, and The Worm Tales from Allegasia, Volume 1, Aragon by Christopher Paolini. This is a short story collection that goes with the YA inheritance cycle, which is a fantasy. I have We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. This is a YA contemporary. Famous in a Small Town by Emma Mills. This is another YA contemporary. I have Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. This is a YA fantasy and it is a spin-off of the Remnant Chronicles. Then I have Monstrous by Volume 1 Awakening by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. This is a graphic novel uh, fantasy. So those are all the books that I'm currently reading. Now I'm going to jump into, in no particular order at all, the books that I want, haven't even touched yet. I have the first three books in the Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning, Dark Fever, Blood Fever and Fay Fever. This is an adult urban fantasy series. I have On the Road by Jack Kerouac. This is a classic. I have Dune by Frank Herbert. This is a adult sci-fi. I have This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills, YA Contemporary. Love Looks Pretty on You by Lang Leave. This is a book of poetry. King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. This is a YA fantasy that is part of the Grishaverse. Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. This is an adult sci-fi. I have <laughs> The Bistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson consisting of The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages. This is an adult fantasy trilogy. As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner. This is a classic. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, a YA fantasy. Reaper at the Gates by Sabato Here. This is a YA fantasy, the third book in the Ember in the Ashes series. Half Wild by Robin MacArthur. These are is a collection of short stories, adult. I have two books by John Steinbeck, Canary Row and East of Eden. I have the H.G. Wells collection, which is a bunch of H.G. Wells' stories and they are all sci-fi. The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater. This is book two in the Raven Cycle, a YA urban fantasy paranormal romance. Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills, a YA contemporary. I have two novels by D Douglas Brinkley and the first one is The Wilderness Warrior Theodore Roosevelt and the Crusade for America and the second one is Rightful Heritage Franklin Delano Roosevelt in the land of America. These are some thick boys and these are obviously nonfiction about historical things. <laughs> The Witch Elm by Tana French. This is an adult mystery. I have the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan consisting of The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. This is a middle grade fantasy series. A few more middle grades coming up. I have Nevermore The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend, another middle grade fantasy series. We have The Goose Girl The Books of Bayern by Shannon Hale. This is a middle grade. The Goose Girl is a fairy tale retelling. 
um, and it just seems like so much fun. We have A Little Life by Hania Yanagihara. This is adult lick fit, adult lick, <laughs> adult lit fic literary fiction. Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. This is a YA contemporary. When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanjay Menon. This is another YA contemporary. Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. YA fantasy. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. YA fantasy. Commonwealth by Anne Patchett. This is adult, I believe, historical fiction. Oh, it spans like a bunch of years, so probably just adult fiction. Another Anne Patchett. We have State of Wonder, adult fiction. Redark Crowns by Kendara Blake, YA fantasy. I have two James Bond novels by Ian Fleming, Casino Royale, and Live and Let Die adult mystery. Vicious by V.E. Schwab, adult fantasy. Traitor to the Throne, a Rebel of the Sands novel by Alwyn Hamilton. This is YA fantasy. Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson. This is a YA fantasy. Historical fantasy. I have the fifth season, I think it's called the Inheritance Trilogy, by N.K. Jemisin consisting of the fifth season, the Obelisk Gate, and the Stone Sky. This is adult fantasy. The Man in the High Castle by Philip K. Dick. I believe this is classified as sci-fi. It's an alternate history novel. I have The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien. Yes, I know. Shame. Fantasy. This is more like children's fantasy and then adult fantasy. The Giver by Lois Lowry. This is a middle grade dystopian. If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This is an adult mystery thriller. I have the Thief series by Megan Whalen Turner. This is a YA fantasy consisting of The Thief, The Queen of Atolia, A Conspiracy of Kings, and The King of Atolia. I, I don't know which order these go in. Open Road Summer by Emery Lord, a YA contemporary. I have the Golden Compass series by uh, Philip Pullman. I think, I definitely have read this, but I've forgotten everything about it. So I would have to reread it before going on to these. So I just keep them all together. And that is consistent of the Golden Compass, the Subtle Knife, and the Amber Spyglass. Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This is a YA contemporary. The Starbound Trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner consisting of These Broken Stars, This Shattered World, This Shattered World, and Their Fractured Light. These are a companion series and it's YA sci-fi. I'm actually contemplating get a, getting rid of these but their covers are so we have The Bitter Kingdom by Ray Carson. This is a YA fantasy, the third book in the Girl of Fire and Thorns trilogy. Three Sides of a Heart, Stories About Love Triangles, edited by Natalie C. Parker. Short stories about love triangles. <laughs> the Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. This is a YA urban fantasy witchy novel. I have Vengeance Road and Retribution Rails by Aaron Bowman. These are young adult westerns. Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. This is a YA fantasy. Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel, a YA mystery thriller. Oh, I don't know why I didn't have all of these together but I have Blue Lily Lily Blue and The Raven King the last two books in the Raven Cycle series. Save the Date by Morgan Matson. This is a YA contemporary. I forgot I had this. The Glass Spare by Lauren DiStefano YA fantasy. Jane Unlimited by Kristen Cashore. This is a YA urban fantasy I believe. Toil and Trouble 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp. YA short stories. Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. This is a adult fantasy. Star Wars from a Certain Point of View by a whole host of authors. This is a retelling kind of short story collection. Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. This is the first book in an adult sci-fi series. The Books of Earthsea, a complete illustrated edition by Ursula K. Le Guin. This is Ursula K. Le Guin's, I believe, fantasy series. That's a bind up. Ow. Fire and Blood by George R.R. R. Martin, The History of the Targaryens. Grey Mountain by John Grisham. This is an adult mystery thriller. Slasher Girls and Monster Boys, a story selected by April Genevieve Tocholke. This is kind of a YA scary short story compilation. Honor Among Thieves by Rachel Kane and Anne Aguirre. 
This is a YA sci-fi. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. This is an adult urban fantasy. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, an adult fiction. The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith. This is a YA, no it's not. This is an adult mystery thriller, <laughs> aka JK Rowling. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, a YA fantasy. Dangerous Women original fiction by a whole host of authors edited by George R. R. Martin and Gardner Dozois. Dozois? Dozois? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. This is an adult short story collection and it's housed in the fantasy. I don't know if it's strictly fantasy but could be. The Roundhouse by Louise Erdrich, adult fiction. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, YA contemporary. The Light Behavior by Barbara Kingsolver, this is an adult fiction book. The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton, this is historical fiction I believe, yes historical fiction adult. Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. This is YA contemporary. Yeah, YA contemporary. Wind Witch by Susan Denner, the second book to Truth Witch, which I showed you earlier, YA fantasy. The Goldfinch by Donna Tart, adult literary fiction. Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass, the sixth book in the Throne of Glass series. YA fantasy. Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray, the third book in the Diviner series by Libba Bray, a YA urban fantasy historical fiction paranormal funness. I forgot I had this one too. The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. This is a, an adult thriller I think. Oh crap. Sight Witch by Susan Dennard. I'm really putting a lot of faith in the fact that I'm gonna like this series. This is like a, a novella before between the next two ones coming out. Rogues by George R. R. Martin and Gardner Dozois, another collection of short stories, I believe fantasy centered. And Meddling Kids by Edgar Quintero. This is an adult mystery thriller. And then we have Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrite and also an adult mystery thriller. I own all of the Jane Austen novels and I've never actually completed a single one of them. So we've got Emma, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Northern Gar Abbey, Mansfield Park, and Persuasion. That's a lot of books. I haven't counted them. Hey, so it is me editing and I'm here to tell you that I've just calculated that my TBR is only 119 books, which I'm actually really happy with. I was hoping it would be right around 100. So I think for sure I can get it under 100 this year for sure. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, yay. I'm kind of excited to have a TBR shelf. I think it will push me because a lot of the times recently I've been getting things on audiobook from my library and I've been reading those because they have a deadline so I kind of ne kind of neglect what's on my bookshelf but I think I'll definitely want to get the books from that shelf to this shelf so that's a little mind game that I'll play with myself so I can finish some books. That's really it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!